Here we go. Woohoo! Very cold. I don't think I pulled my pants up high enough. Hi guys, we're here at Tar Hollow um, State Forest and it's been a day already. Um, we came this morning with intentions of doing the Logan Trail. And the Logan Trail has two different, um, it has a figure eight loops. So we had intended on doing that, but on our way here, on two different highways, there was big trees across the road. So we had a detour different ways. Then as we're coming down through here, there's a big spot in the road where it's fallen out. So I'm sure you'll see pictures or something somewhere along the way. So it's been an event just to get here this morning, which was supposed to be a short drive of 45 minutes, hike for a few hours, you know, and make it home. But what we didn't account for was there is a wind advisory today for Adelphia, Ohio, and it has wind gusts up to 25 to 35 miles per hour and up to 50 miles per hour from time to time. So we've noticed there is tons of dead trees all over the place. So, I think we're going to change our plans, and we are going to do the Homestead Trail instead. It's supposed to be a little bit over two miles. Um, at least we'll get a taste for what Tar Hollow's like, um, and we'll probably definitely be back later to do the longer trails. It's just probably not a real advisable thing to do on a windy day. Yeah, because we're sitting in the parking lot watches the branches falling off the trees. We actually pulled the truck over by the dam over here away from the trees because tree limbs are falling huge tree limbs are falling into the parking lot so you just we didn't want to come out of the woods and find a tree on the truck yeah and it's a, a, probably not a great idea to go hiking this kind of weather but we're going to do it anyways yeah probably not yeah i, I don't advise it <laughs> i don't um a side note though tar hollow is the third largest state forest in ohio and it is the closest one to columbus so, if you want something pretty close to Columbus, I'm not sure we come a different way here. It's about 45 minutes from Logan. Um, all right, let's get on the trail. Here we go. So hopefully this audio isn't too bad. Basically what we're dealing with here is we came out anticipations of doing one trail and the road has broken and buckled at one point and there's trees down everywhere 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts and it's just havoc. So, there's another one down I'm about to step over. I'll try and get you guys a shot as I go here. Oh, and did I mention it rained all night last night? Yeah. But so far, kind of like this homestead trail. Not the miles I had hoped for today, but 
storms are supposed to be in here soon. So we're going to tear down this trail, get some miles. Trying to tell us something? We, we shouldn't go. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we are gluttons for punishments. And it's muddy. All right, I don't know if you guys can pick this up on camera. This wind is crazy out here. I'm sure with the phone's image stabil stabilization's messing it up. You're not being able to see them whipping in the wind. The sky's turned pretty black. Pretty much every five or 10 minutes, you're seeing a limb drop or hearing something break and the top of a tree fall out. It's pretty crazy. Probably not the best time to be hiking, but we're here, so we're doing it. All right, so this trail ain't bad. I think it's um, marked pretty well. It's got several little tiny stream crossings that I'm sure whenever the water's not up, it probably isn't even noticeable very much. But it has an awesome creek that goes beside it. It has a lot of really neat spots. Uh, other than that though, I mean, the wind's a little crazy. So you kind of walking and thinking, is one of them trees gonna come down at any minute? <laughs> So we're kind of looking out for each other going, hey, heads up, there's a dead tree there on the right or the left or whatever. A lot of nice pine trees. But the trellis, in my opinion, is really good. I like it. Um, definitely looking forward to coming back and exploring Tar Hollow more, you know, later, whenever we're not worried about trees falling.
Well guys, this poses a problem. We are supposed to cross there. Yeah. Don't know how we're gonna do this. All right guys, this is real commitment. Windstorm at Tar Hollow. Wind chills like 40 some degrees. Water temperature is freaking ice cold. Check this out. Can't get through, not a problem. Like a boss. Ooh, that's a little deeper than we thought, honey. <laughs> well, I bet it's cold. All right, here we go. Woohoo! Very cold. I don't think I pulled my pants up high enough. I didn't pull my pants up high enough. Oh. Oh. It wasn't too bad. No, nah, it wasn't. We'll call it hiker trash wake up call <laughs> hashtag hiker trash wake up call <laughs> so it comes to my attention that hiking in a windstorm probably not the best idea <laughs> you didn't see that did you uh -uh. i just saw a skunk run across the trail is that because of the big tree we just heard pop and fall there's trees popping and falling everywhere honey it's crazy not the brightest thing to do don't get the great idea to be like hey our world outdoors hiked in the wind that's a windstorm that's no problem for them i'm gonna go do it too yeah don't do that like can't even explain you're sitting there and you watch a branch fall and it sticks like three foot in the ground yeah and now we're getting back in the pines and this is where it gets real dangerous in the pines these limbs all break off so they come right down on top of you. So I'm gonna get off here and uh, let's see if we can get these trees waving on camera if the phone fixes it. Okay guys, we're back at the beginning. So let you know, here at A, we parked at the dam. Went across that gravel, followed the blue across the bridge, came down, then we went this way, all the way around, then back, and we're back here again. Now, the homestead trail says 2.1 we got actually a little bit more and if you've had any water lately right here get real close you can see the water that's a creek crossing that's where we took our shoes off so you guys can kind of see the layout the red here is part of the logan trail um we're gonna be coming back to do that one soon all right guys so you got to see the map there and what the homestead trail is all about it's actually really nice 
I wouldn't suggest it in a windstorm or at super high water times. It's got some really nice bridges on it though. Lots of good water features to look at. Uh, I don't even know what to say about today, honestly. Every turn, something tried to stop us from coming here. Because we originally had planned on coming here and doing part of the Logan Trail, if not the whole thing. But, every time we went to get near a trailhead, the trees had fallen across the road. Like on highways, like major highways. And then we came up to go down to the dam and about three quarters of the road had collapsed. So we're like, okay. <laughs> and we started seeing trees in the parking lot falling. And we're like, yeah, maybe we should go home. But we saw the homestead trail sitting there and we're like, well, we gotta get something. We came out here, we can't go home empty handed. Gotta get a few miles. I don't suggest it though. Now, the Homestead Trail is going to be really nice because the beach is just down the way here. So we're going to bring our granddaughter back and uh, run that trail with her. She's uh, two and a half now, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's two and a half now. So this summer we'll bring her back, run this trail. Then I'll take her down to the beach and take her swimming or canoeing or something. So it's really good for that. Not a lot of elevation. Pretty simple. But... I think we're gonna get our butts back in the truck and get the heck out of here because the weather is definitely moving in. It's getting darker. A lot more trees coming down. But, you know, when all else fails in life, just go take a hike. It makes everything way better. <laughs>